This tech tip looks at BIM interoperability by considering geometry transfer between SketchUp and the IESVE. Transferring the geometry in both directions can speed up the design process by speeding up data exchange between teams. We make this easier by using the IESVE plugin, which can be accessed within SketchUp from the toolbar, or by selecting Tools, IES, then choosing what we need to do. It doesn't matter if we use the menu or the icon to set the building properties. We reach the same dialog box. Here, we can set our building location, which will impact aspects such as the shading when we run our simulation in the VE. We can also set the building type and the HVAC system type. This applies default systems that import to the VE with AP system settings. Let's start by creating a simple two-room model for export to the VE. We will first use the shapes command to draw a simple footprint for our model. We'll then use push-pull command to extrude an appropriate height for our model. We create our rooms with different opening types. Remember that when this is imported into the VE, all openings will be classified under three categories. Doors are any opaque opening on an internal or external surface. Windows are any transparent or translucent opening on an internal or external surface. Holes have an opacity of zero and are only permitted on internal surfaces within the VE. They cannot be applied to external surfaces. We can now use the Identify Rooms option to identify our two spaces. This opens up the VE Analysis Settings dialog. First, we must choose what type of model we want to generate within the VE. Thin walls means that we will model without any wall thickness. This is the commonly used option for thermal simulation models. The usual convention is that the walls then represent the inner surface of external walls and the middle of internal walls. Thick walls means that we will see wall thickness. This is shown based on the thickness of the construction materials applied to the walls in the VE model. We discuss the impact of these options in more detail in our training for geometry creation in the VE. For this example, we'll use the Thin Walls option. After saving our preferred analysis settings, the Room Properties dialog will automatically appear. Room Properties will default to what was set earlier in the Building Properties. Here, we can edit the details for each room. The room name does not need to be set here, as this is easily edited later in the VE. For the construction set, we pick the default option here, and then create and assign detailed constructions later within the VE. We can also set the type of use later in the VE if we're doing UK compliance, and the HVAC service or system. We can also see some of the building metrics. When we're happy with these settings, we click on Close. Now we're ready to launch the VE. The plugin will automatically open the VE software and export our model to the VE when we click on this. Once the VE has opened and is showing our model geometry, we can use Model Viewer, where we can see that our windows, doors, and opening have been imported into the VE correctly. If we want to alter the geometry of the model, we can do this easily within the VE by using the model at applications. However, we also have the option to alter the current geometry within SketchUp. We go to File, Export as, 3D AutoCAD Drawing DXF. Then we choose to save this as a polyface mesh with openings. Once we've saved the file, we can return to SketchUp and import the 3D DXF file that we just saved. It's important to tick the option to preserve the drawing origin and also to set the scale correctly through our choice of units for the import. This has imported our model back into SketchUp as a group. If we click on the icon to select components, we can see that this group will be excluded from analysis in the VE. 
we can now add further geometry to this model in SketchUp. Now, when we select the option to identify rooms, the imported room group is excluded, so the only room that has been identified is the new geometry we've just created. We can now import this new geometry back into the VE. When we do this, it opens as a new VE project. To add it to our original project in the VE, the quickest option is to export this project as a VE geometry file, which is the gem file type. We can then open the VE project that we were working in and choose to import a BIM file. We select the new gem file that we've just created, and when the import finishes, we'll see the new geometry added neatly to what we already had. It's important to remember that the geometry lines up correctly because we chose to preserve the origin when we imported the VE geometry into SketchUp. We can now proceed to work on our model in the VE until it is ready for running a simulation. This is how we would use the IES VE plugin for SketchUp to improve BIM interoperability and speed up the design process. Thank you for watching this quick video on Tech Tips.